Minecraft Story Mode was on top of the world. Everyone loved the game, played it over and over again. All of us watching our favorite YouTubers while we were on the edge of our seats. And the game was an instant hit worldwide. But fast forward a few years, have you heard anything about it? So what happened? Now you probably think that it's just a classic decline in relevancy and it's like every other story but that couldn't be further from the truth because there are still people, many people, who would love to play this game and would probably still buy it. So why don't they? Well, it's completely off sale. You can't buy this game anymore so there's no way that you can play it unless you bought it before it was taken down. So that begs the question, why? Why would the game be taken down if there are still people who are willing to buy it and play it? We need to start from the very beginning. It begins with Telltale Games. They were a titan in the gaming industry, they created the Walking Dead interactive series and they were making a name for themselves. And then they ventured into Minecraft. At a time Minecraft was booming and it was an insane opportunity for Telltale. And then on October of 2015, Minecraft Story Mode, the hugely anticipated game, was finally released. It did not disappoint at all. The game was literally a beacon of success and everyone loved it. It was a super unique game and there was nothing like it. Minecraft was the best game to make a story like this because it's literally a sandbox where you can do anything and the story couldn't really be spoiled because it was interactive and the player's decision influenced it which means there were so many different outcomes to the story. And if you look at the stats, Minecraft Story Mode looked like it was doing awesome having over 415,000 copies sold on Steam alone and this game was even more popular on console so they made an incredible amount of money. If you also look at the reviews it was mostly all positive even further back in the amount of support the game actually had. It had tens of millions of views on so many videos from so many popular creators such as Dan TDM, Technoblade, Corey Extension so the promotion of this game was through the roof. But there were some underlying issues because as everyone was happy on their screens there was absolute chaos behind the scene. Telltale faced financial issues and there were some ongoing problems in the studio and then in September of 2018, Telltale unexpectedly announced that it was closing, bankrupt and they laid off a huge number of their staff. This was a complete shock to everyone because nobody knew that any of this was even happening. Because of all of this, all of their games were up in the air and nobody knew what was going to happen to them. They tweeted this out, you can pause to read it, but everyone was just speechless. Even Mr Beast. Because Telltale closed, they were obviously not in a position to continue development, release any updates or create new content or episodes for any of their games. Dreams for Telltale and any of their fans were kind of shattered and Minecraft Story Mode was incomplete and frozen in time. There was nothing anyone could do about it and all anticipation was lost and it was then where all of their games were completely taken off sale. Everywhere, their fans were just left in the void with no news of Telltale to ever return. Everyone just had to accept it and move on. But out of nowhere, after months, after everyone expected Minecraft Story Mode to never return to any digital fronts, Netflix came out of nowhere and was releasing Minecraft Story Mode on Netflix where you could actually play it with your remote or keyboard or whatever device you were using. This was huge for many people, especially those who hadn't played the game before. But it wasn't the craziest thing to ever happen because it was only the first 5 episodes of the first season and the remaining 3 were never released. There wasn't any new content and it didn't mean that new seasons or episodes would ever come out. It just meant that they were on Netflix for anyone to play. And it doesn't get any better because after a couple of years, Netflix's license to keep Minecraft Story Mode had expired. So just last year in December, it was completely taken off Netflix globally. But it all just doesn't make sense. It doesn't add up because how can a huge company with popular games on release like this just fall over so easily, not giving any notice to the employees that they sack, literally giving them no time to completely leave the office without expecting them to ever come back, never giving them any severance pay? Well, it's because Telltale had investors, many huge investors, that pumped big money into the company but the issue was that they were relying on these investors because apart from a couple of their games like Minecraft Story Mode none of them were making any profit so they pumped out as many games as they could to try and generate more revenue but this was another huge issue it wasn't Telltale anymore it was becoming like a factory to make as much money as possible the passion behind these games were diminishing and so were their sales they were not generating enough money to keep the company going without their investors so following all of this seeing the revenue drops seeing these really 
really poorly performing games, it's only natural for investors to drop out. And that spelt the end for Telltale. It was then where everything just completely fell apart. This was the saddest ending of a studio I've ever heard of. So many people lost their jobs and were so disappointed. All of the projects that fans were waiting for just got discontinued. But you would think that's the end, right? Surely, Telltale couldn't come back from this. After everything that happened, well yeah, they're actually back and this was because it was bought by a company called LCG Entertainment in 2019 and they actually brought back a lot of the employees that were laid off back when Telltale was on its last legs and they're currently continuing all of Telltale's popular shows that have been left off like The Wolf Among Us 2 but you might be thinking what about Minecraft Story Mode? the game that you clicked on this video for? if Telltale is back, surely Minecraft Story Mode would be back too right? Well, a lot of people thought the same way and then they actually replied to someone's tweet saying that Telltale no longer had a license for Minecraft Story Mode. This means that they can't just continue to make episodes like before and they'd have to acquire another license. This is disappointing and all because they probably won't get another license but you'd think that Telltale wouldn't follow the same fate all over again. They actually have laid off employees again under their new ownership literally this month of October 2023. Could Telltale actually fall into the same hole for the second time? Only time Time will tell and I hope you enjoyed this video enough for you to subscribe. It actually has taken me countless of hours to make this and as you're watching this I'm probably working on another.